slightly different perspective now, jumping jumping uh, to a kind of a more general sort of topic. But this came up in Sunday's session, and I thought it might be worth revisiting a little bit when talking about mem set. I think in, specifically on the on Sunday we were talking about uh, mem copy and how there might be more or less efficient ways of doing it depending on how much information you have or how much data it is that you're trying to copy. And we were talking about whether or not you might want to copy things one byte at a time or one word at a time and some of the pitfalls between them. And Memset happens to have kind of very similar uh, design considerations and constraints as Memcopy does. A, a basic kind of naive brute force, whatever you want to call it, initial implementation of Memset is probably conceptually pretty straightforward that we would uh, have some sort of a loop Actually, first, let's, let's just make on the same page. What is the Memset API? So let's say we have a API that was previously defined. So Memset, we have some sort of destination buffer that we're trying to set, S. Uh, we have some, some character C that we want to repeat size number of times into our destination buffer. So conceptually, hopefully we all agree that we want to loop and we can say we're going to loop until our byte, our specified byte count is exhausted. And for each step along the way, we are going to uh, set current index into S to C. So conceptually, that's what we're going to do. In a loop, we're going to be setting one byte at a time of this data. We talked about some of the details in, in the context of other questions of how we might do that in C. We might need to, since we can't actually write to a void star, we need to convert it to a int or a car star or a uint eight star or something else. So we can have some temporary variable that we have casted it to. So when we're writing it here, what we're really writing to is P, P equals uh, C. And we want this to be a loop, so we need to increment P. So we might as well, we can do that here and have it be just one line. And then ultimately, we need to return uh, the same thing we started with. So that's the basic implementation of Memset. And it, it wouldn't be unreasonable for anyone here to be expected to do that. There's a couple of potential pitfalls and things you might want to throw into the mix, such as the argument of the parameter has an, a four byte or potentially four byte integer as the data type, but we said that we're only actually trying to set a, a one character at a time. So what we probably want to do to be safe and to avoid some compilation errors is to explicitly extract just the one byte that we need out of it. And then rather than using C down here, we can use our temporary variable x. So this memset, if I ask anyone else here to write memset, given, given five or 10 minutes, hopefully you'd come up with something along these lines. That would be a reasonable expectation. And in an interview, the next question is, is well, how can we optimize this? Could we have done something different? And how, what, how might we do something different to make this faster? So let me open that up to you all now. Is what, how can we optimize this function to make uh, this memset operation complete faster? Um, you, you could set it along a machine boundary uh, instead, of, instead of doing character. So uh, can you elaborate on that? Um, well, I, I mean, you. You'd have to take the the 
it's, it's an int character C, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly um, what the size they're expecting the character to be setting. Uh, but uh, initially, I thought because we were using a, um, the mask as FF that, that, that it's implied that it's eight characters or, or, or eight bits. Uh, so, so that means that um, you might you can replicate that let's say four times on a 32-bit machine and then uh, just do the uh, UN 32T pointer that you uh, set I, multiple times. I, I think that's a fantastic idea. So rather than treating this as a byte array, we can treat it as a oops, an int 32 array. And then rather than having simply one byte for X, we can instead have a 32-bit X where X is effectively this, but duplicated the other three times such that we have this value four times in a row within X. And then this line, rather than writing it one byte at a time, writes it four bytes at a time. I think that hopefully describes what you were, you were saying as well. Which would, I think, just inherently be a speed up of somewhere around 4x. Like, I think right off the bat, we're now doing our memory operations uh, four bytes at a time rather than one byte at a time. And yes, our loop is going to run fewer times. And there's other kind of miscellaneous code that might run less. The memory operations are going to kind of be the, uh, the biggest demand here. So by decreasing the number of memory operations we're doing, we're hopefully speeding up this whole thing considerably. Uh, but just making these changes, are there any concerns that we have? You'd have to change the size. Um, uh, yeah. So we would need to have this be something on the lines of size, size equals minus equals four, something like that, because we're doing yeah. four bytes at a time. Yeah. And the alignment. Alignment, exactly. That's an excellent point. We. When we're doing this one byte at a time, then it doesn't really matter what it is. We alignment doesn't matter as one bytes are always aligned. Uh, mm -hmm. But when we start doing things four byte at a time, when we have our our or I guess our store in this case our store instruction, we need to provide an address in the memory that this is being stored to that is a multiple of four bytes in the case of a, of a 32 bit integer. If we were gonna optimize this even further on a 64 bit machine and use a 64 bit uh, data type and array, it would similarly need to be an eight byte aligned store, which means that the address that this starts at ends up being very important. Yeah, so, yeah, so we, we need to check uh, <clears throat> Uh, when this address, uh, I mean, I, th I think we can start as a byte and then uh, check when this address becomes uh, integer aligned, like a 32 bit or 64 bit aligned. And then from there on uh, uh, continue. But then we also need to check for the size. So when we are um, maybe use a temporary, uh, one temporary variable, right? Yeah, and um, I think to... that mm -hmm. yeah. what, what this might end up looking like in practice is rather than a while loop where every instance of the while loop, every iteration of the while loop is writing four bytes. Or I mean, initially we're writing one byte, but we're, we just talked about how we're now going to use four bytes for each iteration of the loop. Maybe instead we need to have kind of an if else sort of deal within this loop that if S, or in this case, if P as an address is a multiple of four, well, then write four bytes. If it's a multiple of two bytes, okay, else if multiple of two bytes, write two bytes. Else if, well, not else if, just else. If it's not a multiple of two bytes, it's going to be a multiple of one byte, write one byte. Such that if S, for example, has, let's say, initial address of one, our first iteration of this for loop is just going to write a single byte. The second iteration of this, or sorry, while loop, is going to write two bytes. And then from then on, we can write four bytes at a time. Folks might also identify now that we have the opposite, we have the same problem when we're ending as well. We need to make sure that we've written exactly that many 
fights, not, not more and not less. So not only are we going to be worried about the current address of, of P for what, how many bytes we're going to be writing on that particular iteration of the loop, but for the final iteration of the loop or the final potentially several iterations of the loop, we might be writing fewer than four bytes as well. I might write, write two bytes or one byte, depending on whether the, the bytes remaining, in other words, whether or not the current size is less than four. So our, the internals of our while loop is not only a if, what is in essence, uh, the address is it modular four, then, then uh, uh, write four bytes. There's also the question of if size is greater than or equal to four, then do that. And if size is, is less than four, then it doesn't actually matter whether or not we're four byte the line because we're not going to be doing a four byte right. So the, I, think, I forget who pointed out initially, but doing things on a word basis, however big a word happens to be, is a fantastic optimization. But we need to keep in mind those edge cases of the unaligned start and the unaligned end to make sure that we we well don't shoot ourselves in the foot. In an interview, it's totally reasonable for someone to ask you to implement MemSet. My typical suggestion would be is okay, let's start off with just this basic one byte at a time implementation. Maybe, maybe doing it in pseudocode, maybe doing it in real code. It's not that many lines of code, so it shouldn't take you hopefully more than a couple minutes to actually write it. But along this time, mentioned to the interviewer, like, I see how this isn't optimal. Here's how I would optimize it. Would you like me to write the code to optimize it? In some cases, the interviewer actually wants to see you write that optimal code to make sure you get all the edge cases correct. In some cases, all they want to see is that you're capable of writing code that involves uh, this sort of memory manipulation and capable of identifying that it's optimal in other, well, there are optimizations to be placed on top of it. But it's worthwhile to kind of get, get information from your interviewer about what it is they're looking for in terms of how much time they're wanting you to spend on this implementation. Which kind of goes along with my general suggestion of, uh, Try not to get too complicated on the first get-go because it's more likely to be wrong. And it's always possible to iterate on a on a, a reasonable design first and then add more, add more optimizations, add more details, add more whatever it happens to be as you go on. <clears throat> 